We obviously have talked a lot about COVID-19 and the world has changed forever. <laughs> yes, it Hopefully is. we won't have to wear masks forever, but you never know. Yeah. Um, but really the idea around this, this, the pilots, the co-creation, patients have now become the center of the universe. They always have, but I think in a very, very strong way than ever before. Everything from clinical trials, development, protocol amendments, patient reported outcomes and using their sensors, their wearables, all kinds of other things are at the center of all of these discussions. And, and part of this are these like digital biomarkers and, and, and everything in between. So tell us a little bit about what you talk about around patient centricity, utilizing patients in a way that we've never seen before and incorporating these potential payment and reimbursement new revenue streams for companies, being able to cater to some of these new metrics around patient, patient optimization outcomes, looking at more preventative measures and being able to measure those. So tell us a little bit about patient co-creation, working with companies and, and showing that, that there's an incentive, incentive to co-create with patients. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad that you brought that up because it's such a good point. Sometimes if we might be open to the idea of co-creating with stakeholders, we might overlook patients very easily thinking that um, it's it's complex. Um, oh, I'm talking about, um, you know, this rare disease in, in um, oncology. And so I'm, where am I going to find those places? They, there are platforms and tools to be able to find that specific patient population that you're wanting to co-create with. And and you'd be surprised at how many are so, well, maybe you won't be surprised at how many are so passionate about changing life, not only for themselves, but for their, their peers, right? The people that are suffering from this disease, as well as them, and they are eager to contribute. I've never had a situation where a client involved a patient and did not learn something major, something that was really game changing for the, the way the direct, the business was planning to commercialize their solution. Um, you know, so there's a lot of, a lot of um, questions that have to be asked, you know, how are they compensated is very critical. You know, we need to compensate those patients that to participate, just like we would anyone else, we don't want to take advantage of them, they have valuable input, talk about co launch, right? So a lot of these patients are advocates, and they've built their own Twitter network or their own LinkedIn or Facebook. And so when you think about going to market for this specific patient population, what better way to establish immediate trust and credibility than to have those patients that already have that trust and credibility established that you can just come in and immediately leverage. And if they're involved in co-creating the solution, they're raving fans right out of the gate. I mean, who doesn't love what they've been able to contribute building? So so the patient co-creation is really, really powerful, um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of nuances and a lot of things to think through. But believe me, it's worth it. And some of the things that I hear is besides I already have all the answers is that it's going to take too long. Like I don't have time to ask them what they want. Like I'm going to launch in 30 days. Well, you know, it's better to delay months if not even years, and I'm not suggesting years, but I mean, it's better to delay and do it right and actually have product market fit and a viable business and a viable path to profit than it is to have something out in 30, 60 days that nobody wants to buy. And unfortunately, the number one reason why people fail to commercialize an innovation and end up in the zombie graveyard, like I call it, is because there's no need for their solution. They, they cannot, they, there's no need for their solution and they cannot accomplish product market fit. And so that taking the time to do it right, like anything in life, is better than moving fast, moving furious and not having something that people want to buy.